Is it an achievable goal at this summit to see an action plan for membership of Ukraine to NATO? I think it's achievable uh, goal and this is a very important goal too. Uh, we already agreed that we need some institutional framework for closer cooperation with Ukraine and uh, this uh, decision to establish NATO Ukraine, uh, Ukraine's Council is one of the elements of this institutional framework. The second issue is we will um, uh, just to skip away uh, the MAP, so-called Membership Action Plan, which was one of the elements or preconditions of the membership before. I think it makes the process and procedure of the approaching uh, NATO more simple. And uh, I think we will have very um, significant packages of support coming from different countries and many countries bring the additional uh, packages of support to Vilnius in their port portfolio and I think this is an important element of our support too because Ukraine needs political signal but uh, Ukraine needs also practical support and uh, I think this support will be granted. And uh, Referring to your question whether President Zelensky will be in Vilnius, I am optimistic and I expect that the, he will attend our uh, event, uh, NATO summit, and I think it's very important to see him here in Vilnius, mm. especially now. But just to go back, the Budapest Memorandum didn't work to secure the borders of Ukraine. The 2008 um, Bucharest uh, announcement that Georgia and Ukraine would be potentially members one day hasn't worked to deter Mr. Putin as well. Nothing short of membership, which includes Article 4 and especially Article 5, surely will suffice for the Ukrainians to have a clear signal that they will get membership. That probably won't happen this time around, will it? Well, if we, spoke broad, if we speak broadly, not only about Ukraine, I think the best deterrence element for all of us is forward defense. Mm -hmm. To have forward defense or boots on ground uh, here in the eastern flank. Regarding Ukraine, yes, probably we missed some opportunities to uh, strengthen the deterrence element regarding Ukraine in the past and probably I would refer to the Crimea occupation in 2014. At that time we were not decisive enough to take the decisions and not only decisions strengthening the uh, security of Ukraine but also decisions punishing, sanctioning Russia for what uh, happened in 2014. We were just too late and we did too not so much in order to stop to prevent Russia from a further aggression. And then the war in 2022 uh, broke out and unfortunately now it's too late to, to, to talk about the prevention. We are talking about the consequences about the bloody war and now, uh, now being in the war of course we have to support Ukraine with all means political military means and we are doing this but yes you are right by saying that uh, the deterrence did not work in case of Ukraine in the past but we have to learn from our mistakes and we have to do everything in order to prevent such aggressions in the future.